the farm families of Cabot Cooperative are happy to be stuck in Vermont. Stuck in, stuck in Vermont. Welcome to Stuck in Vermont, brought to you by 7 Days. My name is Ava Solberger. We're here at Shelburne Farms in Shelburne, Vermont for Draft Horse Field Day, presented by the Green Mountain Draft Horse Association. We're in Vermont, which is like, you know, a farming state, and a lot of people still use horses. Many of our Teamsters today use their horses and their mules or their oxen on their farms. I'm delighted that we have oxen here. Um, there's a team of mules. And then we're represented, I think every breed of draft horse is represented here except for Clydesdales. <laughs> And we have everything going on here today. We have some reaping and binding that we've been doing. We are doing some thrashing. We have a stationary baler. We also have some mowing going on, plowing. We are giving uh, scenic rides through parts of the farm that you wouldn't ordinarily see. We've got a whole bunch of different teams here today and a pretty darn nice day and a nice crowd. I think it's a good thing because it's showing the people what things used to be like around here. You see, back when I was a kid, that thing would go all over the country, thrashing for different farmers. Actually, the uh, thresher that we were working on the wheat is over 100 years old. Yeah. I'm a fourth generation farmer, and uh, you know, my grandfather did it. I mean, the horses got lost along the way. and When I was a kid, that's what I was taught. We didn't have no tractors when I was a boy. Then you get an idea of what it was like for people when they were on their farms in the early part of the century. Oh, it's a lost art. I mean, most people today think that it's backwards and <laughs> there's no place for it, but there really is. The farm, of course, is totally connected to history and the farm was born in effect over 100 years ago. Now, of course, it's uh, about the future more than the past. The best way to see this, this farm is from a horse's perspective. That's what it was designed for. In three years, we have uh, a dynamic horse program here. It is a viable, sustainable alternative for the future. I train horses, and it's one of the most rewarding experiences in the world to have a horse join up with you and start working for you. First of all, it's just love of the horse and um, what they can do for us and their willingness to participate with us. The amazing power and resourcefulness that you can get from animals. The kids seem to have a fun time at it. They give rides and they like showing off their, yeah. their minis. and. I got the love for horses and I still got the love for horses. And some people are very much like horse people and oxen. I, I drive both. I love both. I got Jack and King and Ace and Joker. They were born here. Yeah. The team on the other side together weighs over 7,000 pounds. I've had mules for 25 years or more and enjoy them. Ben is 29 years old and Lily is 19. It's a good hobby. I know where the kids are. <laughs> and what do you like about horses? Everything. <laughs> it is a green alternative. I mean, that's what we talk about with the kids. They, they don't use gas. We don't have to be dependent on fossil fuel completely. There are animals that we could enroll to do some of the work of food production for us. Using horses is very green. And, and a lot of people are very interested in that. They're not just for tourists and they're not just for show. They're viable working companions. I think Eventually, all these huge farms are going to have to go back to little farms. There's a whole lot of people that are going back to small farming. Not, not this thousand acre business, but something that has, you know, five acres, ten acres. And there are a lot of people interested in, a lot of young people, interested in working with horses again. Well, it's the way Vermont was made, really. I mean, a horse and oxen. It's our history. I think it's important that people learn about how things were done. You know, you see all these postcards and stuff from my life, and a pair of horses on the cover, pulling a plow. It's like the maple industry was started with horses. And it's very important, I personally feel, to keep that connection, because if you don't know where you've been, you're not gonna know where you're gonna go. I'm driving! 
driving horses <laughs> at Shelburne Farm. Today we see both history and the future merging on this beautiful Shelburne Farms landscape. The best way to travel. We'll get stuck around with you again real soon. And this, this pair works for me beautiful. We pick up all the trash in the village of Bristol every Friday morning, winter, summer. We do it in rain, snow, sleet, and hail, and sometimes all in the same day. Every horse person in, or draft horse person in the United States knows about it, except, you know, some people live in Starksboro and have never heard of it.